Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new UFC light heavyweight champion. He is the number one ranked 205 pound contender and is finally realizing the title fight here tonight. He believes he has a lot of advantages in this fight. He believes he's the better man. Look at the confidence on his face. No UFC jitters for this man. He is out to prove tonight that this champion is a one trick pony and that he is the best light heavyweight on the planet. We'll see if he can turn those words into actions here in short order. of Hall of Fame types Chuck Liddell, John Jones, Daniel Cormier. Now this man is the hunted at 205 pounds. He is the UFC light heavyweight champion. He has defended the belt. He has proven without a shadow of a doubt that he's the best 205er in the world. A lot of momentum with the challenger here tonight, though. A lot of people think we're getting a new champion. The champion is not among those. We'll see if this man can walk out the same way he walked in as the undisputed light heavyweight champion of the world. Tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. Jones is three years his senior. He will have a seven inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Light Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's a Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a look see do fighter. Only a professional record of 26 wins, one loss, and one no contest. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA, presenting the challenger, John Bones. John And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a kickboxer, only a professional record of 12 wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed USC light heavyweight champion of the world, Dominic the Devastator Ray. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make that fight. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is. And this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick lands by the catch. Jones gets caught with that punch. All right, first round is underway here. We say in mixed martial arts, it's one thing to have the reach advantage. It's another thing to use it. We'll see if he can get that jab going. He has got to fight tall. He's got to stay 
at range, use his length to give his opponent problems, trying to bring the fight into a closer distance. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. And just misses with that big right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. When you're in a clinch, you can pull him down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Single collar tie now. Well, looks as though his leg, or you can even see him limping oh. a little bit. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another. Now try to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. The is not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you down. But now DC trying to isolate an arm. Yep, he's using the Kimura. And this might just be a matter of time. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. We had a big submission attempt there midway through, but largely the submission defense held up. It wasn't tight. We thought the fight was over, but stayed patient, stayed calm, relaxed, and found his way out of that deep submission. Here we are, early round two. Well, he's got the longer reach, and he certainly showed it there in landing that straight punch. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. How about that chin? That shot is blocked by Jones. Nice stick with the right hand. Fantastic takedown. Nice shot to stick with it there to complete the takedown. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles. On now he has a headlock trying to pin his opponent's back down flat onto the mat. Look from the transition to an arm triangle to try to chase the finish. He's to push the arm to the side, get his head against the mat. Now watch as he goes to the finish. Watch his chest go to the mat. And this might just be a matter of time. Jiu-Jitsu practitioners around the world celebrating the effort of that young man tonight. Tower, oh my goodness! <laughs> yeah, that's about as good as it gets with that choke, and if you're not willing to tap out as he was not, then you're gonna go to sleep, and that's exactly what happened. A beautiful setup and even better technique to get the finish to put him out cold. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble 
the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, ladies and gentlemen, the man they are all chasing at 205 pounds, the UFC light heavyweight champion, and what a way to get the job done tonight with a submission victory. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop for this contest at one minute, 59 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by submission, due to an arm triangle choke, and new undisputed UFC light heavyweight champion of the world, John! Well, he came in ubiquitously regarded as the best contender in this light heavyweight division, and he proved he belonged tonight, submitting the incumbent to become the new UFC light heavyweight champion. Rarefied air for this.